Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you how this, um, these navigation links at the top of the screen work. Um, so basically I've just started up the software and you can see at the top of the screen there's nothing linked because uh, at this stage really can't do anything until you unlock your FAS identity. So that's what I'll do now. Okay, now after doing that, it gives you your list of businesses. You might just have one business there listed, but um, you can have uh, multiple for like different financial years, or one might be hosted on Bassoff, um, or um, you know just having different businesses and things. So um, also, you'll notice at the top. Um, the um that's changed so now it, it says your name at the left um it's just in bold text because and not linked because that's the page you're on at the moment and you can navigate to another page here called edit fas identity and that is linked so if we click on that that's the page where you can edit some details about yourself um, and it does give you other options there as well um, it's sort of structured in the way it works so that you know we can go back to higher levels here or lower level detail so I'll just go back to the um, business list by clicking on my name here okay and then um, I'll go into this business here okay and it takes you into this messages page so this is the first page which is confusing for people but the, the the reason for it going to this page is is that you could actually receive send and receive messages and they could be important so it's um, good to look at that first and the other thing is you you might with the messages there's um, files attached to it so you're being a local being local files if you're using this with other users like you've sent it to your accountant you might your accountant might send back the file saying look you know, here's a copy of the file. I've made some changes. Please use this file in future. And in that case, you, you'll have a link to the file or here and you'll go open that file and then work with that one instead of the other one. So um, it indicates that you're on the messages page at the top here by having that uh, in bold and not linked. And you can click on your business name here. So this is the key. Um, when you get to this page, um, if there are no messages, just click on that um, business name to get to this m menu. I guess this is the main um, menu page for the business. Um, and you notice in this, these navigation links change again. And there is actually a link to get to your business details there. So um, basically shows you where you are by the bold unlinked text um, but also does give you options to other things as well so that my business details page is linked there and it is also down here and so you can go in into there um, to for example to uh, let's look at some counterparties so counterparties uh, the opposite party the contract so your employer your, your sorry your um, supplier uh, your customers or your employees um, and if we go into one of them um, you know we can see that we've got um, a link back to the counterparty list and we we've got link uh, uh, it, it's bold um, normal text here to show that's the page we're currently on um, you can go to payroll details and then you can go back to uh, you know the the main edit page for that um, counterparty and then go back to the counterparty list when you go back to the counterparty list it actually remembers that you're on this counterparty and you can um, um, click back to them directly rather than double clicking on them there or you can directly click back to the payroll details page for that counterparty so this functions a little bit like tabs um, as well in that you can you know um, 
go to the counterpay list tab or you know to the employees um, um, edit pages um, yeah so another um, use of them let's see on the income and expenditure page um, we can go into um, an account let's say we go into sales revenue it'll list the transactions in this case it's just one so you know we've still got the link here back to income and expenditure but over here it says we're on the sales revenue and it tells us the dates we're looking at you can go into the transaction we can actually edit the transaction and save that and then we've got an option to email or even click a new transaction um, so yeah then then we go back to sales revenue remembers which transaction we were looking at and we can go back to editing that transaction as well um, so yeah that's that's how the um, navigation uh, links work in free accounting software um, um, I guess one other thing to point out here is that there is a menu here which um, just links a whole bunch of other things um, yeah so some of them are to pages like um, that are also accessible through these um, things for example I can click on my name and go to edit FAS identity and that's the same as my FAS identity here um, some generic things like opening a new file or or setting up a new business um, saving a backup of certain things um, or um, things like printing the page it's done by creating a PDF of the page so there's a function that applies to um, all pages or most pages um, there is a CSV option for exporting data so say for example that might be most appropriate when we're on the counterparties page we might might want to get a, a list of that data and put it into a spreadsheet or something and that could be useful for that and then some sort of general type pages okay so I think that's pretty much covered off um, the navigation aspects of the software um, I hope this video has been useful to you and thank you for watching